How do you know you are daddy cool? Well, you'll probably drive a Skoda Octavia Combi or S. Not an ID3. And here's why. 640 litres in the boot. I mean, that will carry a baby dinosaur, especially a stuffed one. And whether you're a sales rep or you are someone who regularly has to bring the scooters, the dog, the camping, the bikes, the rugby or football boots, this car will literally do it all. So many times I've said it. Can you guess what I'm going to say? It's all the car you ever need. And this two liter TDI DSG gearbox version of the RS is soon to be no more. Now I know I told you last year the white RS we had was the last, but this really is the last. And what a color to go out on. It comes specced with all the things you need. Heated steering wheel, heated seat. Doesn't have blind spot. And it can be a little bit sluggish to get going. You've kind of just got to let that diesel spool up for a second or so at times. And that can be a little bit of a melt if you're trying to get out of somewhere quickly. And in the west, there's so much torque onto the front wheels, wheel hop is not exactly something you won't be familiar with, but there's so many other times when you'll just enjoy driving this car. It's comfortable, it's a long range cruiser, and it can take anything that you might want to buy in Ikea. It will take anything to the recycling center or the dump. And for that reason, and so many more, it's just a great all-round car. It will also do, no matter what way you drive it, five and a half liters per 100 kilometers all day long. And that's as good as any petrol hybrid that you can manage to get your hands on in today's world. You can even open a drink with the little nibs without having to pull over when you're thirsty. But I'm not messing. This is your last chance to get one of these because very soon the RS is just going to be petrol. And that's not a bad thing. A high revving, free revving petrol engine in a car like this is pretty cool, but it's going to be more expensive. And isn't time a funny old thing? Go back 20 years, People would laugh at you if you said you drove a Skoda. You'd have to explain yourself to certain people. Some might even accuse you of buying a poor man's Volkswagen. Well, do you know what? I think Volkswagen in some ways would swap places with Skoda these days. Seeing as it's a run out model effectively, it's a pity they haven't thrown blind spot, wireless charging, radar cruise, and a panoramic sunroof at the car. But I suppose there are things that would inevitably creep up the price. And also, RS model aside, I can't believe that in today's 2024, sometimes insane car prices, you can still buy a new Octavia for 30,000 euro. I'll leave you with this thought. If I was changing cars in the morning, for my family wagon, I would happily, happily drive and tell other people to buy one of these. More space in the back, more rear leg room, and I just prefer estates. Maybe that's a, an age thing, but when you look at the rear quarter and the proportions of the back of this car, it actually suits an estate. So goodbye, RS, TDI. It's been a pleasure on behalf of the people of Ireland. And I think I can speak on behalf of 99% of customers who've ever owned an RS TDI. Yeah, it's a little bit nose heavy. Yeah, it's not as enjoyable perhaps to drive as the petrol, 
But you know what? It did us some service. Thanks for watching.